So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to edit or clean up a mocap animation in Blender. By the way, this is Blender 3, 6.2. This dance animation was imported from CC4 Accurig with the character mesh. But there are some issues in the animation, hands going through the body and all that. So we need to fix them, and I'm going to show you how to do that. Kindly like and subscribe to support us. We would love that. This project was imported using the CC4 plugin, so first we have to convert to Rigify to use the bone controls for our fixing. But now the animation is gone, so we have to retarget the animation into the Rigify. Let's find the animation first, and then preview it to make sure it's it. There it goes, that's the animation. Now let's bake retarget. Here are the keyframes all baked, but we can't edit this easily like this. There's just a lot going on there, so we have to use nonlinear animation NLA. Click on this small box and then select Combine as the blending mode. This will combine your edits with the already existing animation. Now we are all set, ready to start editing. Let's jump into Pose mode and start. While repositioning the bones, it's better to use normal orientation. Now while editing these positions, the key frames are automatically added in the timeline. Since this dot is activated. Another thing to keep in mind is that there are main joints you just don't touch, for example, this thigh joint. Otherwise, you get this result. 
as you can see, things are now weird. So this is what you have to keep in mind. Let's go back and now adjust this in another way. Now I'm using the shin tweak control to adjust by using G and X to move the knee. That's working much better now. So this is how to make edits on your mocaps. You can keep adjusting this till you're satisfied. Also, you can unhide the character's skeleton and trace the movements as you can, just like in the case here. And that's it for now. Like I said, you can keep adjusting your mocap until it's perfect. In the next video, I will show you guys how to add or edit the facial expressions created with shape keys. Please like and follow us for more videos coming your way. Until I come again, keep nurturing in 3D.